What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog. So, you can see an empty tank here. Today, we are going to go buy a new snake and set up his tank. So, I went to the reptile store yesterday to ask if I could record me buying a snake there today. And they were like, yeah, for sure. Duh, duh, duh. I was like, yeah, I'm not even looking for a discount and it's good advertisement for you guys. And they were like, yeah, of course. Duh, 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 duh. So, I go there today and... They told me I couldn't film inside. So we're already back here. I already went and picked up some stuff and I changed my shirt. I just got this in today. This is my RIP Fan Jerry shirt, which you can find in the link in the description. Teespring isn't the best. So this will be the last time I'm using them. Once I cancel my Teespring account, this shirt disappears too. So if you want it, go ahead and get it now. Cause once it's gone, it's gone. So this is the little snake I ended up getting. His name is now Babe because he is a Western hog nose. Uh, if you don't get the reference from the name, go back to 1994 or something like that with the movie Babe. Watch it. That'll do, pig. That'll do. So this is Babe. He is small. He was $200. He is technically venomous. He is a rear fanged venomous snake. Um, they are very docile snakes and don't really like to bite. And when they do, it won't do anything but make your hands swell up a little bit, and that is it. But he is terrified because he's in a very new place and he doesn't really know me. So I'm going to put him back in his little enclosure for now while I set up his new one. And he's going right into this 10 gallon, which will be good for him for like six months to a year, depending on how fast he grows. He's only going to get a couple feet long, not very long, so he'll be okay in here for quite a while and then I'll bump him up to like a 20 gallon and that's all he'll ever need. I prefer Aspen with my snakes uh, for the fact that they can burrow in it and for the most part it maintains their burrows and its shape. It's also good for humidity like this. Fun fact about Western hog noses is, is actually when they are scared, they will go belly up and play dead, stick out their tongue, the whole thing. They really put on a show. And then even if you flip them back over, if they're really trying to tell you, they'll just flip back over on their back and shit on themselves. So they are not super aggressive little snakes. They are fun to have. Uh, their bite is just a little nuts if you do get bit. Yeah, so that's baby, that's his setup. While I was there though, I also bought another animal that I wasn't expecting on getting. All right, so this next guy right here is still a baby inside this little container. He is a, he is a feisty little guy and he's going to be hard to show while he is inside this little bottle. So I don't know if you can see him crawling around really, but uh, he is a pink toe tarantula, a baby, he's a little sling. Uh, so we are going to set up this enclosure for him. This will be big enough for him for his entire life. It's actually uh, probably too big for him right now. So I'm going to have to go in and make sure that he can't get stuck. Uh, can't get stuck back here or anywhere else because uh, if he does, he will probably die. Upon further inspection, uh, this is there's no adhesive to the back of the glass, so actually I can remove it if he does get stuck back there. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up this enclosure as is and hope that he doesn't go back there. But if he does, I can get him out. There we go, nice damp environment for him, somewhere where he can climb. This dude's a boreal, so 
or ab arboreal, something like that. So he will uh, climb up and web, and he's a bright blue color. I'm gonna try to get some close-up shots of these guys after. But he's a bright blue color, and the hog nose needs to eat. But he's a bright blue color, <laughs> and uh, he's a web slinger. And he's gonna turn into like a maroon, purplish color. It's a very pretty spider. <laughs> You can see his old molt right there, and his old web and his little bottle. Uh, I just taped the entire, all four sides of this enclosure because he's still pretty small. I don't want him to get out, so there he is, climb, climbing around, being cool and shit. Hognose is back there too, doing its thing, learning. I have to feed him later, but I'm still going to give him a little while until I do that. So that's what I did today. Uh, until next time, and if you want RIP Fed Jerry merch, you know where to get it. Uh, and thank you guys. Peace out.